Hello, as you know, I'm Kainton, the Tech Pro. Today we are discussing introduction to Hennessy Milner logic. Hennessy Milner logic is uh, a topic under computer science that is normally applied in the area of software verification and validation. So, first, what is Hennessy Milner logic? is a dynamic logic used in model checking to define properties of a labeled transition system. Alright, we are actually going to get into the practical area, we are going to look at the operators and we are going to see how we can use an similar logic to define or to specify a particular labeled transition system. So there are two areas uh, Milner, Milner logic can be applied in defining or specifying LTS. One of them is using temporal operators, and the second one is a tableau method. So, in this class, we are going to use the first one, temporal operators. So, first, um, we need to let me get this into a board. All right. So, the first thing we are going to do we need to first understand or review a bit of what an LTS is all about. So, um, so we have LTS is defined like this. LTS is defined to be uh, made up of initial state is not exactly like a finite state automata but is similar initial state set of actions uh, set of actions and transition okay remember this is how an LTS is defined and then we have a finite set of uh, finite sequences finite sequences finite sequences actually means a collection of transitions so if you have something like this you have a transition from here to here you have from here to here and you have from here to here and if this is S0 S1 and this is S2 then a finite sequence will be something like S0 S1 S2 okay sorry uh, let me clean up this alright so let me do this correctly So, um, finite sequence will be S0 to Oh, okay, that's very strange behavior. Okay, so let's see. Um, S0 to to S one to S two. So it means from here all the way to this place. So it's a finite sequence. Alright, so let's now look at the syntax that is how to use Hennessy Milner logic. Let's look at the syntax Okay, so assuming we have something like P, uh, something is not right. All right, so assuming we have P, we have P and Q. Okay, so this P and Q are Boolean 
uh, formula boolean formula so Hennessy Milner logic can be defined to be to take the following forms it will be some uh, it, it can evaluate to be P it could relate P and Q in this way okay I think the okay so I think I know where the problem is coming from alright P it can evaluate P and Q to be uh, P and Q can also have something like P this is O this is AND Q okay then it can have something like a uh, square braces P and it can also have something like um, A and P so these are evaluations of P and Q where P and Q are boolean uh, formulas or boolean formula so and also you can evaluate these expressions to be either true or false okay let's just take an example I think that will make it a little bit clearer let's start a new slide here so let's take this example let's say we have let's draw these two transition diagrams let's assume we have this we have another one okay just assuming we have and this is this is the initial state a p it represents the initial state and this we have this directed graph okay all right so we have this and we have this so now we have from the start state to the to the uh, to the state P is specified in this way now this is uh, from the start state it can either get to these three directions but if it takes just one part if we are defining just one part then we have this form A P now on the other hand if we have something like this sorry this A represents the action of the transition on the other hand if we have let's take another example So we have another transition uh, LTS, lab, another label transition diagram. Also, S is the starting point, but this time we have P, we have P, and we have P, we have A, the transition. So if we have the possibility of from the starting point to three different states, so we can now represent it as something like this. A P so you see the difference now so these are called temporal operators this is temporal operators alright if we go a little further maybe to become clearer so remember we have that L is equal to sorry uh, we have T not L we have a uh, T let's delete this so we have T equals where T represents a label transition system equal to X and we have action and we have transitions now the rules for Hennessy Milner logic I'm going to state all of them out uh, for you 
it goes something like this t s equals p what does this mean it takes the transition uh, the level transition system then it takes the states and then it maps it to p which is the 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 final state so this is the start state to the state from s to p so we have something like from this we have from this to this is defined using a hennessy milner logic all right so let's take some examples let's take uh, start with a new presentation so that to become a little clearer so um the first ones say something like say our oh, t s equals true okay if this is equal to true then t of else s equals true okay that is the first one it means that it can be false if t given t s equals p and q this is if and only if t s equals p and t s equals q so let me write it out if and only if t s equals uh, p and t s so this will be true if and only if these two holds all right let's take another one equals um, p this time we have this q of course you know that this is all if and only if t s equals p or t s so it's more like the boolean logic that you know so let's now look at another one we've mentioned before t s yields a p so when does this hold it holds that there exists there exists uh, s prime such that where s uh, gets to s prime through a okay so in this case t s prime equals p i think it's clear so there is this s so that s goes to s prime through a so for that level transition system s prime also equals p then we have the, the last one is this the other one we we mentioned before um sorry let's delete this So equals this time the notation is something like this a p remember all these are rules of thumb it is not something you can just uh, change so in this case say um, there exists s prime such that s gets to s prime through a okay so that s gets to 
for all s prime s gets to s prime through a for all s prime okay so and then this will now be t s prime equals p okay so this is basically the notations you will have to know so if we look at this this slide you see that we have this because s gets to p through a for this one s gets to for all the p that exists s gets to p through a so so this is the notations for hennessy milner logic what we are going to do next is now uh, take an example, define a model, and then, then try to use an similar logic to try to solve that model. So that will be in part two. So maybe you just subscribe so that you get to follow when part two is published. Uh, that will be in the next few hours. I'd like to thank you for viewing.